good morning. We are on our way into North Cascades National Park. Today we're going to climb Mount Ruby Mountain. Ruby Mountain. Ruby Mountain. We will be skiing part of it, skinning up part of it, and hiking the rest. Chloe's, Chloe's first time doing backcountry and skiing and ski touring. It's very exciting. We got to the whole hassle of getting ski rentals for her yesterday. So <laughs> that was a hassle. Should be a should be a good experience. Chloe's a very good skier, so oh. it should be great to see how that translates uh, into the backcountry. Chloe's first time putting her skins on. Rip it, Chloe. Rip it. Okay, well these are moving, so. There you go. How is it? I'm backpacking. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's... Chloe's looking good. Excuse on her back. Oh, this is not the right size. We got an alpinist on we our made hands. Some interesting decisions today. <laughs> Getting about 8:45 a.m. start time from the gate closure near Ross Lake. Uh, we are walking Highway 20 right now in our trail runners. Chloe's got skis on her back and boots, just like me. Today we're just gonna hike up uh, Happy Creek, the north side of Ruby Mountain. Uh, try to stay east of Happy Creek and uh, follow the rest of the people <laughs> out here. And yeah, should be a good ski down. Chloe's been eagerly awaiting her first ski mountaineering, ski touring adventure. And here it is, she's finally got it. We're still hiking up to the forest with these lovely skis and boots on our back. And uh, seeing some first size of snow. So maybe we'll be able to start skiing soon, maybe. But we are doing the rite of passage by walking up to the forest in the PNW. A necessary part of any adventure is to do the slog through the forest to start. So here we are doing that. And hopefully we'll get to some snow soon. Well, we are officially off the official trail. And now we are just following this well-worn off-trail path through the snow. Still a ducking and dodging and hopping over lots of shrubbery and trees and whatnot. But uh, hasn't been too hard to follow so far. Chloe's doing a great job, as usual. Adding on in front of the pace because she's too fast for me. So I gotta slow her down. We've reached some wide open spaces and we are just taking this boot pack up the mountain. Boot pack is very well made. Everyone's following the same steps and not post holing and it's a nice flat steps too. And the views are starting to open up. Check that out. Chloe's making it work. All right, made it up into this nice, open, flat-ish alpine area with the views that started to open up nicely for us. You can see Ross Lake down there and the rest, some of the North Cascades. Chloe's killing it on her skins for the first time. It is uh, now noon, 12 o'clock p.m. Snow has softened up quite a bit up here. And if you look ahead, you can see that's where we're going. We still have quite a ways to go, so I'm not sure if we really want to summit. We'll see what happens. Right, Chloe? We'll see. Yeah. Made it up to the top of this little bowl here. Still awesome views. I uh, don't think a summit's gonna happen today, but we are thinking about going up to this bowl to eat some lunch and then get a nice ski down, so that's the plan. Hopefully we enjoy this run. Chloe's about to get in her skis for the first time in downhill mode. See how it goes. Got the GoPro on. Hopefully it captures something, something decent. <laughs> I'm terrified these skis are nothing like what I've skied before.
Well, we're back on the road now, skis and boots back on the backpack. And uh, we're walking the road because, you know, we don't really care about cars. We just skied, so it's like we're invincible now. It was an interesting day in terms of, uh, you know, plans and, and, and how they went. Um, got a, definitely a later start. I think that affected us. It was probably warmer than we thought. And uh, yeah, I think maybe too much for first time backcountry skiing. What do you think? Um, I think everything, it was just like starting at ground zero again in a lot of ways with skiing. And I've been skiing in resorts for years just because everything about the ski is different than I've ever skied. Everything about the snow. So yeah. it was, I mean, you know, there were a couple times when I was okay, but I think that it was, it was a little intense for like a first, a first backcountry skiing event, but I'm glad I tried it and I'd be willing to go back. I'm proud of how far we got. It was really just a beautiful day anyway. So I have no regrets. Yeah, certainly the views up there are amazing with uh, Ross Lake and the surrounding North Cascades peaks. Can't go wrong being in North Cascades. It always feels like an honor, a blessing to be here in this in this land for sure. And yeah, I think there's a lot of positives. I mean, um, a lot of lessons learned every every time we go. We learned something in terms of you know gear or how to swim better. Right. Of course, great exercise. We still got like 4K vert in like 10 miles probably. So yeah, no, you know. we didn't. I don't even think we got. There was a good amount of mileage left. Yeah, I think like for our current ability and ski level, I think we definitely need to start earlier. Right. Um, just give us more time for messing around with our gear and route finding and taking breaks. Anyway. Thanks for coming along on our silly, silly little journey. It was a good day. Yeah, Chloe had a great day. I did, I had a, moments of frustration. I'm sure there'll be video somewhere in here of me falling over, because it <laughs> fell many times. <laughs> um, but I think it was overall a good day and I learned a lot. Like I just think it's so key to dial my gear in. Every single piece of gear that I have like from my backpack, the boots and skis, it's all borrowed. And I think it not being my gear that fits me had a big impact on my comfort and like capabilities. So. Is that the gate? Dial the gear in, yep. There is a gate in the cars. Yes. Important to dial the gear in and start earlier. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the car and get back home.